Christmas. It's the main man, Lucky Lance, the self-proclaimed leader of Team Last Best Hope, ready to drink some beer and open up some packs. If you know what I'm saying. Let's see. Now, I'm going to let you all warn. I'm warning you all right now that something's about to happen. And it's this beer. It's going to be cracked open, so I'm going to see if it explodes. It's, it's, it's looking pretty intense. So here we go. Are we ready to watch a beer explode on camera? I don't know why they explode every time, but here we go. Oh, it didn't explode. Sad face. Happy face, because I'm drinking beer. That's what I'm talking about, drinking some quality uh, winter ale. It's not ale, it's lager, but winter. Uh, Rainier, my favorite beer, Rainier in purple can. My dog just woke up. Did you have a good nap? It's a good nap. Damn good nap. Anyways, I'm filming this just a few days before Christmas. I'll probably upload it a couple days, like the day before Christmas, so I don't know what day. I you know, I always get delayed somehow. Anyways, everybody, whatever day it is you see this on, I hope you all had a, have are gonna have a Merry Christmas or have had a Merry Christmas. And if you don't like Christmas, well, I'm going to be politically correct here and say I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm uh, looking forward to Christmas. I have an 11-day Christmas vacation from my workplace. It's the only time of the year they give me a vacation that's not more like three days. So I guess Thanksgiving I get four days. But I don't get like Martin Luther King Day off. I don't get like President's Day off or Columbus Day or Veterans Day because they lump them all into Christmas, so I get a week and a half off, which is nice. It, it's a little bit of a drag, because uh, i got to go so long without getting a, a, a holiday. But when Christmas rolls around, damn, a week and a half, I'll take it. All right, i got a sponsor I need to let you all know about. Give me $25, a couple of these uh, lights run, the camera going, uh, pay for these packs, pay for the mortgage, pay for the beer. You know, uh... My sponsor is a really good sponsor. I'm really proud to have them. It's High Dollar Cookies. That's right, folks. High Dollar Cookies. Not cheap-ass, like, great value Walmart cookies. Not medium-class cookies like Oreos. I like Oreo and great value cookies, but these are high dollar cookies. I'm talking about the cookies you pay a little bit more for to get the good taste that you need. Um... Speaking of great value, I had a few of those, and I'm pretty sure that I saw in the ingredients it said sawdust, you know, and sawdust and glue, you know, they gotta have glue to hold the sawdust together. But whatever, I mean, they're still good. I mean, you can't beat Walmart's prices sometimes. I mean, like you get a big ass tray of like, of like uh, great value cookies. It's like for like 40 cookies, it's like 98 cents, and it's like oh, I don't know, it's some sort of bad chemical from China's in these, but I'm hungry. I gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have them cookies. Also, I always notice, I always get the, I always get the variety pack, and like, there'll be three rows of great value cookies, and there'll always be like two rows of vanilla and one row of chocolate in the middle. I'm like, what the hell? There's like a premium on these chocolate great value cookies? I don't understand that at all. It make any damn sense. But enough about great value cookies. High dollar cookies are the perfect cookies to show off that you've got a little bit of money. So when people see you snack on a high dollar cookie, they know that you're making bank. Uh, what do they call that? Yu-Gi-Oh! Dank Deals? Is that what it is? That's a team, isn't it? I don't know. I have no idea. I see all these weird things like uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! teams walking around. Hell, what the hell is my team? Last Best Hope? It's a good-ass team, but... <sighs> We're all just alcoholics playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on my team. Um, but anyways, also another good thing about the high value, high, high dollar cookies, I'm going to mix, I got great value and high value, high dollar, so we got great dollar high value cookies. Nice! Anyways, high dollar cookies are also really good for putting into, um, your bunker. Went back and around here when Obama was president around my area, very conservative area, everybody was getting their bunkers, you know, because it was bags of Obama. And everyone came out of their bunkers because Trump's president. And if Trump doesn't win the next presidential election, some Democrat does, we'll all go back in our bunkers. We all have bunkers out here, and I prefer high-dollar cookies. It's my cookie of choice of my, my bunker. So 
Anyways, that's, uh, bu I mean, High Dollar Cookie. I almost said Bunkers. High Dollar Cookies is my sponsor. Thank you for giving the $25. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be eating some of your product pretty soon. Probably tonight. I am uh, going to have Chick-fil-A tonight. Me and my girlfriend have already decided that we're going to have some Chick-fil-A. So when you watch this video, just know that I had some good-ass Chick-fil-A. Which... It's almost as good as Jack in the Box. For you guys that don't have Jack in the Box, you're really missing out. I'm really sorry to hear that you don't have Jack in the Box, but my God, Jack in the Box. My dog is just rolling around over there. Ooh, ooh, I heard that. That was a deep snort. Big ass snort coming from the little dog. All right, guys, so on to the Yu Gi Oh! packs. What I got here is not the most exciting box Cybernetic uh, Horizon. I always want to say Cybernetic Re Revolution, but. Cybernetic Horizon, it's still got Boral Sword and Bigfoot and Nessie in it. I think Boral Sword is actually the highest it's ever been. I believe it's over $80 right now. So if I can pull a Boral Sword, yippee, skippy, a hop, skip, and a jump to the bank, I guess, to cash it in, even though the bank would be like, what the fuck is this? It's worth this cardboard. That's the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, even though they're worth a lot in our, like, you know, our groups. They're not really worth anything out when you take them outside of a card shop. I mean, they're absolutely valueless unless you have a niche market. It's not like, you know, bond stocks or precious metal. They're absolutely worthless. So that's why you should never invest in Yu-Gi-Oh! But you can always make a little bit of money in Yu-Gi-Oh! if you're a little bit smart. But you're not going to get rich, folks. You're not going to prepare for retirement with Yu-Gi-Oh! is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'd really like to get the Boral Sword. Uh, Bigfoot and Nessie are great pulls, too. There's some pretty good other cards in here that aren't a real high value, but I wouldn't mind getting like a Seeger, a Hertz, or a Jackalope. Even a Chupacabra is not that bad, in my opinion, for what Ultras have become ever since they lowered the value and maximized the print of high rarity cards. Um, you want to stay away from Ledgerman and Celestial Observatory and Pinpoint Landing. Uh, there's some really, really stinky, smelly, piss-poor secrets in this set. This set is like among the worst, but yet it's got Boral Sword in it, so it's like, what What the hell? I mean, is Cyberdark Impact... Cyberdark Impact's the worst set ever printed. Is there any card, even after over 10 years later, that has become such a collector card? I want to say that the Cyberdark... Some of the Cyberdark Dragon Monsters are pretty expensive and often rare. I know I've got a few of them, but I just I don't know what they're valued at anymore. I know Cyber Arc Impact from Tactical Evolution, the card, is worth a lot of money. And it just got reprinted for the first time, I think, this year. Anyways, getting back to Cybernetic Horizon. Really uh, hoping to pull something good. We're going to breach the horizon, as the box says. I'm going to drink some more beer. and head over yonder, rip that plastic off, breach the horizon, if you know what I'm saying. And let's do it together. It's almost Christmas time, and how do you get through weird-ass relatives? Well, you do it by getting drunk! Ah, let's get on in here. I got my beer. I got the Cybernetic Horizon. Haven't opened the Cybernetic Horizon in a long time, you know, since the set came out. So I'm excited to see what I get. Of course, it's first edition. Everybody should know. I don't think they make unlimited boxes anymore, even though they did for Dark Saviors because that set needed so much help. I think the only way to get unlimited packs now is through the the sneak, the soul, like, you know, the special editions, or what they call them. What they used to call those. Well, I remember for a while they're deluxe editions. They came like super editions, advanced editions. Now I just think they're just called like special editions again. I don't know. Anyways, uh, more life naturally. I just realized the the can says that. I think I talked about that last time. But anyways, here we go. Trying to get a Boral Sword. Boral Sword for great justice. Has anyone ever played that game? Uh, Zero Wing, I think it was called, where everyone made fun of it. I think it was on the Sega Genesis, um, you know, where it's like, all your base are belong to us. I really like the theme song to that that game. I remember playing it and not paying attention to, uh, you know, this is like in the mid-90s, late-90s. Nobody even cared all your base are belong to us. But then, you know, the internet got a hold of it and it was LOL. All right, here we go. Let's get in here with Cybernetic Horizon, Crusadia Draco, Metaphys Ascension, Goki Moonsault, World Legacy Survivor. I heard it's a good card, but never seen it played. Sim Tabler, Turning of the World, Metaphys Decoy Dragon, Tod Terrifying Toddler, and Crusadia Regulix. Crusadia's only high rarity card in this is uh, Equimax, right? Don't have another altar, right? My fridge just turned on. It's getting chilly in there, I guess. 
I just watched the new uh, trailer for Men in Black International Edition, and I'm really confused because Chris Hemsworth's in it, and um, he has a British accent. I don't know why he has, doesn't use his natural Australian accent when it's called International Fucking Edition. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Contact Gate, the movie looks pretty bad. Dragoony Legion, Dragoony Cuse, Universal Adapter, and Umber Mirage, The Elemental Lord, Gold Fang, to go along with your Silver Claw, Torment, and Goki Heel Ogre. Is there any good Goki cards in this? I know Flames of Destruction was like the last one. Had Octo Stretch, that was really boring as a level one. Hand Smagir, Asian Armageddon, Crusadia Power, and Mech Knight of the Morning Star Secret Rare. That's not one you want to get, folks. And Glider Beast, Degrasses. Or Degasses. Goki Tag Partner, Cycle of the World, Divine Serpent, Geh. I'm so glad we finally got that card. And Mythical Institution, which kind of reminds me of Inventors Fair and Magic the Gathering. Whoa, is that a... I think that is. I think that's uh, that one uh, field spell. Huh. All right, Mech Knight of the Morning Star. For every reason, it's making me think of that Juice Newton song, Angel of the Morning, which everybody apparently only knows from Deadpool 1 now. That was a great song. Juice Newton's Angel of the Morning, which is a cover. I can't remember the gal who did the original one, but Juice Newton's a great singer in that. Just call me Angel. Of the morning, darling. All right, enough singing. If this card is Link Summon, you can discard one Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card. Add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Mech Knight of the Morning Star once per turn. If your Mech Knight monster battles at a monster in a different column than it, then your monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that turn or that battle. I guess it's good. I mean, Mech Knight of the Morning Star. What about Dark Lord Morningstar? Can you fuse them together to be Mech Knight of the Dark Lord Morningstar? Zero Extra Link, Crusadia Vanguard, Goki Ring Trainer, Dealer's Choice, Dragoonie Senatos, White Stingray. Along with that White Rabbit. Uh, Terrifying Toddler Torment. What was White Rabbit's big song? Uh, dude, what am I thinking? White Rabbit is the big song from Jefferson Airplane. What, how'd that song end? It's like, it's like, and the Red Queen's off with their head. Remember what the Dormouse said. Feed your head. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, I haven't heard White Rabbit in years, but I still remember that. Psychic Ace, Dragoonie Kuse, Goki Moonsault, Dragoonie Knight Ascalon. That's like the worst ultra, I think. Impetation, Talismandra, Goki Heal Ogre, Crusadia Reclusia, Boar Regenerator, and Cyber Dragon Veer. This card's actually not bad for Cyber Dragons. I think it's a good one of. Alright, Dragoonity Knight Ascalon. This card is not good, folks. Uh, you can banish one Dragoonity monster from your graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, banish it. That's okay. This Synchro Summon card is in its owner's control, it's destroyed by the opponent's card. You can special summon one Dragoonity Synchro Monster with 3,000 or less attack from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. You can only use this effect of Dragoonity Knight Ascalon once per turn. Never seen it you played. And I play against a lot of Dragoonity online. Dragoonity is one of those decks that people love, and I've never understood why. Yeah, Jefferson Airplane's other big song from the 60s is Don't you want somebody to love? And then, what's really funny is they became Jefferson Starship. They broke up. But Grace something, I can't remember her name, she's the singer. She and another guy made Jefferson Starship, which had, We built this city on rock and roll. Which actually, I actually like that song. Goki Moonsault, uh, we got Noble Knight Custodin, World Crown. Another guess, sure have a running tally of guess. A lapel man, there's a veer. Uh, but they got sued again. Uh, they said the name Jefferson Starship was too close to Jefferson Airplane. So then they had to just change their name to Starship, and then they had a big hit as the band Starship with, uh, I can't remember the name of the song, but it was like, it was like, it was in the one movie with the mannequin from the 80s. Yeah, I, look how old I am. Oh, God, I keep hitting my head on the camera. 
Uh, oh, Boria, Mini Boral Dragon, Crusadium Maximus, good card for Crusade. Cyber Switch, I like the art on that, but it's a terrible card. Uh, LaBelle Man, World Legacy's Mind Mill, Link Devotee, and Crusadia Leonis. What was uh, Crusadia's name in OCG? I don't remember, but it sucked. I remember it not being as good, like Paladin or something, right? Like, which is Knight. A Paladin is a Knight. But I just, I don't remember what it is. But yeah, that's, so that's really interesting that the band went through three names that had big hits with each one of its each one of its names. Really strange. Demise Agent Army again, Crusadia Power, Psychic Ace, Dragoonie Kus, Hip Hotion again, good card. The Deep Grave, terrible card. Uh, Goki Tag Partner, Crusadi Lenios, and Crusadia Reclusia. Uh, it's always interesting at regionals, you always see a couple Crusadia players doing like marginally good. Like they're hanging out in like the, the 500 level. So they're like, you know, like two and two, three and three. They're hanging on, but it's always a couple of them. Handsome Gear, Goki Ring Trainer, Cosmo Brain, Mirror Force Launcher, the terrible card. Signet Ritual, uh, Solitary Sword of Poison, uh, Cycle Cycle the World, Goki Tag Partner, Mythical Institution. Uh, how's that Jefferson or just the regular Starship song go? It's like, then I say we're crazy. What do they know? Baby, put your hand in my hand. Don't ever let go. Let the world around us just fall apart. Maybe we can make it if we're hard to hard. Yeah, I still got that one too. Restoration Point, Guard Crusade, Arborium, Mini Boral Dragon, and Mana Dragon Zenitron. Uh, this is actually a pretty good card. Demise, Supreme King Ar Armageddon. I like the Mana Dragon. Surprised I got away with it. They almost got sued, I'm sure. Boral Regeneration and Mind Meld. Damn, just busting out the Jefferson Starship and the uh, airplane and just regular Starship. That was our last big hit, was that Mannequin song. I mean, I don't remember the name of it. Ah, I can't remember it. Universal Adapter, Breaking of the World, Psychic Ace, and Realm of Danger. Now, I said I had the worst Ultra. No, this one's probably even worse. Crossbreed. Got Center Frog. Uh, Metaphys Decoy Dragon, Ballista Squad, which I like. And Crusady Regulix. Baby, we can make it if we're hard too hard. All right, time to read this terrible fucking field spell that does, like, nothing for danger. Realm O Danger. They should just call it O Danger. Your opponent cannot target the danger monsters you control with card effects during the turn they are special summon. Once per turn, you can target one danger monster you control while you control that face-up monster and this face-up card. That monster can attack directly. Also, your opponent's monsters cannot target, target it for attacks, but it does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Um, really bad. I mean, it could be somewhat playable if you're, like, really, like, wanting to lose. I don't know. Like, it's just, it's not good. It needs to do a lot more than what it does. All right, Hansmer Gear, Goki Ring Trainer, Cosmo Brain, Universal Adapter, and Sky Striker Ace Hayate, uh, Room Sprinking of Oblivion. This is a good card to get around Thunder Dragon. You know what I'm saying? They make Hayate. Attack directly, send the Widowanker, add it back with uh, Kagari, and now they can negate goddamn Colossus. Happens to me all the time, bros. All the time. All right, left-hand side of the box. It's the left-hand. Restoration Point Guard, Crusadia Draco, World Legacy's Memory, Dragoonity Senatos, Interrupt Resistor, Link Devotee, Congestor, Toddler, Torment, and another Gas. That's a playset. Playset in one box, folks. Can I get any extra Gas? <sighs> that card's not nearly as good as the enemy. Remember the enemy had like infinite attack? They should have had it had an effect where it's like 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 a moon mirror shield where when it attacks a monster it gains a hundred so it's always got infinite attack, you know what I'm saying? Goki Ring Trainer, Cupid Volley, Demise Agent of Armageddon, Shield Handler, Mirror Force Launcher, and another Supreme King of Armageddon. I'm getting a lot of those. Borla Generator, Cyber Ring and Veer, and Labelle Man. La Bell Man. Not the Bell Man, but La Bell Man. Alright, let's see. Still going here. Shield Handler, Psychic Ace, Breaking of the World, Cyber Rev System, Secret Rare. Goki the Giant Ogre. Uh, La Bell Man, Cyber Dragon Veer, Goki Take Partner, and Kasudia Leonis. Cyber Rev System's not a bad secret, in my opinion. We got here. We special summon one cyber dragon from your hand or graveyard. Gonna be destroyed by card effects. This is a monster reborn with a little extra, a little bit extra right there. It actually can be pretty bust if they have multiple of them. I've seen. 
I mean, I've lost a Cyber Dragon recently. I mean, I got destroyed by him only because the guy was main decking uh, Dimensional Barrier. Crusadia Draco, Beast Magic Attack, World Legacy's Memory, Crusadia Vanguard, Vorticular Drum Gone, that's fucking awful. Deep Grave's probably just as bad, if not worse. <laughs> Draw one card off Drum Gone. Mind Meld, Link Devotee, and Crusadia Leonis. Yeah, if there's any good 80s songs you want me to you want to hear me sing because you like torturing yourself by listening to me sing, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Like, I can sing Tarzan Boy for you by Baltimore. Crusadia Arborea, Beast Magic Act, Mini Boral Dragon, Danger Zone, another terrible ultra, Incantation Candle. I actually like the card. It's just, I wanted to work. Reclusia, Decoy Dragon, Boral Generator, and World Legacy's Mind Meld. So yeah, this card, let me read it, and then I'll tell you about it. Draw three cards and discard two cards, including at least one danger card, or if you have no danger cards in your hand, show your entire hand, and shuffle into the deck. You can activate one danger zone per turn. Uh, this card, I, I think, is really good, but ah, the deck just, it doesn't, it can't really function the way this card is designed. If this was a spell card or a quick play spell, my fucking god, it'd be so good. A, a graceful charity that's quick play? Sign me up. But, man, this is a trap you gotta set. And generally, I think the deck's best going going second. But, mm, someone will prove me wrong, maybe. Zero Extra Link, Dragoon Eqs, Cosmo Brain, Dragoon Legion, Crusadia Revival, Crossbreed, Solitary Sword of Poison, Cycle of the World, and Goki Tag Partner. I keep waiting for the next... Uh, Danger cards to see if maybe they can start becoming like a going first deck because I really want them to be like be able to use like Phoenix Wing Wind Blast and Karma Cut, Crusadia Power, Contact Gate, Dragoonie Legion, Noble Knight Pelinor, Invitation uh, Talismandra, Clarent, Ballista Squad, Sword of Poison, and Crusadia Reclusia. What's the other movie that just came out? Did Aquaman just come out? I haven't gone to the movies in a while, but I am going to go see Dragon Ball Super Broly. I already got my tickets for that. Crusadia Arborea, Mini Boral Dragon, Restoration Point Guard, Crusadia Draco, Crusadia Magus, or Magius, Paladin of Storm Dragon. Neat. Uh, Mythical Institution, Center Frog, and Decoy Dragon. Look how lewd that frog is, just laying on its side, just ball sack, like showing proudly. What do I need to get here? One more Ultra? More Ultra, I think. Should be. Koos, Universal Adapter, Zero Extra Link, Mana Dragon, Zinri Natron, Reproducus. Pretty good card. Rune Angel, Oblivion, Cybernetic Overflow, World Magic, Mind Mel, and Cluster Congester. I like this card too. It's like a one of in Cyber Dragons. It's pretty good. I like the Cyber Dragon deck. It's just it's kind of boring to play, in my opinion. It doesn't. It just has like one plan. I guess Thunder Dragons does too, but whatever. Leave me alone. World Legacy's Memory, uh, Shield Handler, Psychic Ace, Breaking of the World, a Crusadia Revival again, and Renewal of the World. Ballista Squad, uh, Crusadia Regulix, and Divine Serpent Gaz. All right, there we did it. Four Gaz, one box. We're doing it. I should have like a running tally of Gaz I've collected over my entire life. Crusadia Vanguard, Goki Ring Trainer, Dealer's Choice, and Sacred Noble Knight of King Custanen. So three of the four Ultras are TCG exclusives. Dragoonie Knight, Luin. Link Devotee, Goki Heal Ogre, Link Turret, and Crusadia Leonis. All right, here we, oh, I gotta read this guy, Jesus. All right, <clears throat> I like his artwork. He's pretty sick looking. All right, you can detach any number of materials from this card, then target that many cards your opponent controls, return them into the hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one Noble Knight XYZ monster from your extra deck, except Sacred Noble Knights of King, King Custanen. If you do attach this card from the graveyard to that monster as material, this is treated XYZ summon. You can only use each effect of Sacred Noble Knight King Custanen once per turn. Uh, it's good, but only for Noble Knights. Like, imagine if that was a generic. I mean, that'd be a really good fucking uh, XYZ card. 
which I did like the new XYZ. They show the firewall XYZ dragon. That looks pretty good. Crusadia. All right, last best hope for something here. Last pack. Can I get something above a super? Arborea, Beast Magic, that Mini Boral Dragon, Crusadia, Power, and Wee Witch's Apprentice, which is, I think, the best super in this set. Interrupt Resistor. I'm glad I got a Wee Witch out of this box. I like that card a lot. Uh, Summoner Overflow, Turning of the World, and Rune, Angel of Oblivion. Who kind of looks like Cammy for whatever reason in that. Cammy from Street Fighter. All right, guys, there you go. There's Simon Horizon, one of the most disappointing sets. Uh, it's not really that disappointing. I mean, it's got Boral Sword in it, but it's just, I don't know. It's just nothing else is good. I mean, the Danger Nessie, I mean, it didn't help. I got all bad Ultras. Like, all four of my Ultras are bad. Uh, that Saber Rev system is decent. I'm not bitching about that. Um, but anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, let me get some beer here. I still enjoy opening all this stuff. It's just fun entertainment for me. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button. And then if you want to be notified instantaneously, hit that bell icon, you know, for whom the bell tolls to be notified immediately that I've uploaded some more quality content. And you're like, God damn, he's at it again. What's wrong with this guy? Don't you have a life? The answer is yes, I do. But sometimes I have extra free time. I feel a sneeze coming on, so I got to... Oh, it's gone. It'll come back, though, at the worst of times. And uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate every view and comment I get from y'all and every like. Um, this is probably the last video before Christmas. And all of you, make sure you have a happy, fun, safe Christmas. And I hope you all get what you want. And I hope you get some Yu-Gi-Oh! product. My family supports me, and they get me Yu-Gi-Oh! product all the time. Well, at least for Christmas. Sometimes my birthday, but usually just for Christmas. They give me like a box or something. And sometimes it's been good. One time they got me like a Strike of Neos box. And this is like when Strike of Neos was like six years old. So I was pretty stoked. They were sad because it was an old box. But I was pretty happy with Strike of Neos. I don't think I pulled anything good out of it. But still, Strike of Neos is pretty sick. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in a couple of days. Peace. <laughs>